The following show is a paid program. What's up? I am so excited today. One of my favorite gospel singers is with us on today. She's an evangelist, an accomplished national recording artist, minister of music, songwriter, producer, and community activist, Kathy Taylor. Hey, lady, how you doing? Hello. I'm so glad to be with you uh, oh. today. Yes. I, I tell you today, I, I couldn't even sleep last night. I've been up since four. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was oh so goodness. excited to see you and be here with you because every time I go to Windsor Village, I always ask before I even go, I call them. I know they say, who is this guy calling? I call to see if Kathy is going to sing one of my favorite songs. You will oh, be God. so surprised what it is. So let's see it, guys. Let's see one of my favorite songs and let's see Kathy in action. The other one. The other one. Breathe. You have There's another Jesus, Jesus. 
How did we get here, Kathy? How did you start singing? I saw in here it says Kathy began her re recording career as a soloist with the legendary James Cleveland Gospel Music of America. How did you get there? Well, you know, my mother was the minister of music at our church coming up. Yes. And, you know, of course, if you were her child, you were going to be in the choir. <laughs> so I started... <laughs> So I started leading songs around the age of seven or eight mm -hmm. and uh, had the opportunity. In fact, your guest for tomorrow invited me to the Gossip Movies Workshop to sing one of his songs. And right. That's how I got started. Wow. Oh, my yeah. God. And then to be at Windsor Village and then to be Minister of Music. Wow. Look at how many people. Jesus. Yes. You know, um, God has a way of putting you in the right place at the right time yes. to do the thing he's called you to do, you know, mm -hmm. so I believe, and I believe that, you know, I believe I was called to Windsor Village and I also believe that I'm called to the world to yeah. sing this news of Jesus Christ. I love that. I love the fact that you've dedicated now your life, your whole life to the music. Yes. Wow. So yes. Many it's all I know. Exactly. <laughs> Yes. I love that part about you. And you talk so candidly about music and how people and you've helped so many local artists become national artists, you know, mainstream. How does that happen? Because so many that are in the choir many times say, I want to do exactly that. Yes. Well, you know what? Um, I can't say I hope that something I've done helps yeah. some of them to get to mainstream, you know, yes. I, I can't say, I can't take the credit for it. God has a way of just doing what he does. You right. Know? So if I expose them to something, if I, um, you know, I tried to do CDs with the church right. so that they could get their foot in the door and also get some experience recording. You know, so that was kind of my goal is just right. to, to help to make a platform. I love that. We were talking to uh, Angela Bennett on yesterday, and she was talking yes. about the Houston Alliance Gospel uh, Music Professionals and the organization. And she mentioned your name and how you helped so, <laughs> so many uh, people along the way and give information. And that's how you yeah. do, Kathy. I've known you. I've seen you. Uh, along the way, I've been watching yeah. you, and you have given so many people um, information that they didn't have to pay for. Information. Well, you know, I, you I, I believe, I believe that um, you know there are seasons in life, yes. and you know sometimes there's a season where you are to share, and yeah. you are to mentor, you are to uh, you. We got to reach back. You know, right. we can't just. You know, so it's important to me to hit all those marks because, you know, truly I want to be all called me to be. Absolutely. You know, so if that's, if, and you know, uh, Angela is one of our choir members in yes. choir. Yeah. So, and you know, she is an outstanding. Singer. Brian Courtney Wilson has been in our choirs. Yes. You know, so we're just excited about what God is doing in the kingdom of God. Yes. Not, not just our house, but. Yes. The, Kingdom of God, we're just yes. excited. And I'm glad we're mentioning that. On this morning, there was a video, uh, and you were talking about family in COVID-19. Yes. Yes. And I yes. liked, it was, it was so phenomenal, just a little bit about the singing, you and your husband singing, and things like that. Let's talk about the realness of COVID, because people don't think it's real. They, they don't. They do not. Well, let me just say this. We have, my, my whole family had been staying home since March. Yes. Um, and um, uh, COVID hit our household. It, it, I got it first. I didn't know I had it. So it spread to my entire family. Wow. So the, the clip that you saw this morning was really our attempt mm -hmm. to, you know, let our people know that it is real. Yes. And some of the tools and some of the keys that help us get through it. Because I am so happy to say today god brought us all out right you and know, let's talk about some of those 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 that you were giving out well okay so let me let me set this up for you like 
I was in the hospital with it for nine days. Oh and but my husband was home, our nanny was home, and our children were home. One of the now the children never our children never had any symptoms. Right. Uh they were running, playing like always. <laughs> but um like one of the main things that helped me is laying on your stomach. Mm. You know, because some way it it extends your um your lung capacity and it helps your lungs to work at a you know at a better rate so that's one of the things i know that really when i first got to the hospital that's what the doctor said lay on your stomach mm -hmm. and i think i was on my stomach around 36 hours the first mm -hmm. time trying to uh because my symptom was i couldn't hardly breathe right right it was respiratory yeah. right and um so i would call home and tell my husband Lay on your stomach, tell everybody, lay on your stomach, or whatever, you know. <laughs> right. Just trying to navigate through it. And, and, and that just lets me know, it just assured me even more of how, of how powerful God is. You know, yes. when I look back on it, I had the least pre, pre underlining conditions. If somebody was going to go that far, it was, you know, I'm glad it was me because I'm not sure if, you know, the others would have made it through it. Right. As, as well as I did, you know. Yes. But um, yes, that's one of the things we say. And then also wash your hands. Yes. And wear your mask. Mm -hmm. you know, it's just the simple things that will help you, you know. Uh, and then if you have it, drink hot stuff as much as you can, you know. Like I did lemon, hot lemon and water. Mm -hmm. it's, it goes a long way on uh, helping you recover now these and i'm just saying the tips i'm saying i'm not saying i'm a doctor or right no i'm not telling right. you to do this right go to your doctor follow right. his instructions right but i'm just telling you these are some of the things that help me yes along and help my family and i'm just i just thank god today yes that we are all COVID free absolutely and i i'm so glad that you brought that up and i'm so glad it happened this morning that i was seeing it because mm -hmm. of the fact we need to tell our family yes. how real it is because I still and, you know, see so I, many not wearing the mask. And also, you know, some people who, ha who have had it or who has it, they feel ashamed because yes. they, they have it, you know. And it's so easy because you would be surprised how, how I call it. I mean, I've been home since March. So right. I mean, yeah, so it, it can happen in a... Right. Absolutely. One sneeze. Yes. You know, one sneeze. One uh, cough. You mm -hmm. know. You know, just so you can touch the faucet behind somebody who had it. It's, right. It's very easy to catch. Right. And right. So right. We, I'm, I'm just asking you to wear your mask and continuously wash your hands. Absolutely. I'm so glad you said that. Also, I'm glad you you are uh, transparent in speaking yes. about it. I, they also said being in the hospital because you're alone. Many people are alone yeah. by themselves. So mentally, you have yes. to be, you know what I mean? That's a, a well, big part I of know, it. For me, um, I was in the hospital nine days, but you know, I tell you, I thought it was four days until I was walking out of the hospital. Wow. I, just, I just thought it was four days. And um, for me, yes, you're isolated, but you know, I kept an uh, underline of praise and worship going in my room. Right. And I had some wonderful time with God. And yes. He just really took me through it, you know. Yeah. And I'm just so grateful. That's that's how I made it through it. Yeah. You know, so I just want to encourage anybody, don't be discouraged. Put you some praise and worship music on and uh, watch, watch God do what he does. Absolutely. 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 We're going to take a break. And we'll be right back with Kathy Taylor. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection, only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com 
it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281-881. 881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call attorney Willie Powell. And now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey family, we are back with evangelist Kathy Taylor. Yes, I'm Yay. so glad to be Oh, absolutely. We're going to see the video that I was just speaking about when you were talking with your, your husband. You are with singing together. Let's show that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, no, he doesn't sing. He doesn't sing. <laughs> you were doing the singing. It's fine, you see? Come on. Yet not distressed. Perplexed, but not in. There you go. There you go. That is, they are an awesome couple, dynamic duo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my uh, God. Yes, we were just talking about, we wanted to share uh, with our community, you know, the importance of taking care of yourself yes. and staying home, staying out of crowds. Yes. Uh, during this COVID season. Yes, yes, yes. I also want to touch on another thing that you do adoption you have two girls yes i do uh, my husband and i adopted two beautiful girls about five years ago yeah um so yes this it's been a blessing to us um uh, um uh, it's so many of our kids in need of homes and mm -hmm. parents and um uh, i just want to encourage anybody who feels really called to it but it is it's, truly a calling you know right um you know god bless us with just two beautiful girls mm -hmm. and um one of our girls is on the autism spectrum you know which um which is a whole nother thing but yes. we are just we are just honored and blessed to serve god in this way absolutely i'm so glad about that i love the way that you're an advocate now for adoption for african-americans Yes, and also Autism Speaks. I always yes. not uh, throwing a plug for them as well. They're doing so much to help people um, and parents with yeah. autistic children, you know, know how to cope and also get the information on all the stuff that's available to you. Yes. With that. So it's, it's important. A lot of us just don't have the information, you know. Right. And sometimes, you know, you think you may, you, you may be a certain age, so you can't adopt, or mm -hmm. you're not at a certain financial quote, so you can't adopt. It's all kind of help out there. If you feel led to adopt, uh, just get the information on that as well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love the way that you speak about adoption in the fact that and you go, you're very transparent of what you go through how they come into the home <laughs> at any time. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But you know, uh, some people in this world is so sick that they have to, you know, they have to go extra right. measures, you know, just because this world uh, today, yeah. you know, people 
but God, we need to get on the. We really need to get on the wall. Yes. And 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 the more kids we keep in the adoption center and in foster care, yes. the more trouble we're going to have. We have to take care of our own. Yeah. And bring them up in the ways of Christ. You know. Absolutely. And, and so many feel like they don't have anybody or and are feeling alone, and so you have adults who <laughs> are missing so many things. So they're their uh integrity level uh um, yes what they'll do they don't care because right. they've not had that initial foundation right and that's you know that's and that's our job you know if you know when i was coming up it was two or three extra children in a whole bunch of households you know <laughs> we were just taking care of our own they made right. a niece or you know and nowadays we don't care we don't we don't have so the village anymore yeah, we don't have that yeah. village anymore. That's right. And it's time for us to get back to the basics. I yes. believe some of that is a why we are sitting at home right now with COVID. Yeah. God is trying to tell us something. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Because everybody is sitting at home, no matter yes. if you're rich or if you're poor. <laughs> there, you there you are. Yes. And, I, and, and everybody could do more for God. I'm I'm not landing on one person. Everybody right. could do more for God. And saying, while we're in this season, let's just get right with God. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. I truly, truly agree with you on that. And you, like I said, you're an advocate for adoption because you speak so highly of it and how you started. You started as a foster parent. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I, I just was trying to help to... I was trying to help a lady who yes. had, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. But, you know, God knew what he was doing. Right. And I'm so grateful. I, I'm so much better because I did what he called me to do. I love that about you, that you did step out in the transparency and helping other people just to understand that we have to help our own. Because these we children, have. yeah, these children are in foster care. And once they get to 18, they just. They're lost. They they just throw them out. They just yes. let them just just on the street. And think about it. I came up in a two parent home when my dad died young when I was young. Mm -hmm. But I came up with a mother and, and a big support system. At eighteen, I was not ready to exactly. go anywhere. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You know, exactly. Yes. We, at eighteen, throw some of our children out at eighteen, and we've been Thank you. <laughs> paying for everything. They've been <laughs> lost. <That's it. laughs> yes, you know. You know, absolutely absolutely yeah, we have to you know and if you got a little home that's all right if you got an apartment mm -hmm. whatever you have it somebody would be grateful for it. and i'm not saying they are kids now yes you know they do what children do yes you know mm -hmm. but uh I, I i i'm i'm so fulfilled doing absolutely it. absolutely yeah. the other part of it that i've seen george floyd Wow. Yes. Wow. And the call that you did in singing at his funeral. Jesus, the impact that you held for the family. I've heard even family members saying, thank God for you for singing them through that, for helping them through that. Because to right. even see him pass away, we all saw, the world saw. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Well, you know what? I want to first give a shout out to Nikita Fox. Yes. Uh, she recommended me be a part of that program. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful to her. I was honored to be a part of the program. And, um, you know, and I just wanted to serve. And, yes. Um, so the song God is with us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the word says sometimes life can change suddenly. Yes. And you find it hard to even breathe. Yes. Uh, I wrote that song a year or so ago. Wow. But I'm finding it to be so appropriate in the world. Right. Today, you know, from, you know, from the George Floyd thing, which was most unfortunate and most unfair. Right. To when I was in the hospital gasping for air because, and needing help with an oxygen machine. Yes. You know, and then somebody, something else may have taken your breath away. Yes. Yes. But and so whatever that hour is and whatever that moment is, I just want you to remember mm -hmm. that God 
he is with us. Wow. You can be of good courage mm -hmm. and be assured mm -hmm. that God is with you. Mm -hmm. And because because the scripture goes on to say, I will not leave you, nor will I forsake you. Mm -hmm. So that's what we got to remember, even in, in these times mm -hmm. of social injustice, in these times where our land is in need of a healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got to stand tall in God is with us wow. and be of good courage. Mm. Just knowing that, just truly yes. knowing the meaning of what that is. Wow. Yes. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have a clip of that one where uh, God is with us. God is with us. God is with us. Oh my God. How powerful that song is right now. Praise God. Thank you. That we are needing that at this moment. 40 million plus people are unemployed right this moment. Yes. Many people have not only been laid off, they're losing their homes because they can't pay for them. They're losing their cars because they can't pay for them. They are not even able to eat. They're having to go to pantries at this moment. And we're talking 2020. We're not talking 1820. We're talking in That's 2020, right. Right. right this That's moment, it. that people and many of us have passed away without our family members being by our side. Yes. This COVID, I'm telling you, it's something. It's something. But even without that, God yes. is still. Yes. That's it. That's it. The song in itself is so uh, pertinent for now. It's a now. Yes. And thank you so much for it, <laughs> for writing it and putting together. And it's your, this is your new single now. Yes. Yes, it wow. is. Wow. How did it work out that it's now? You said it. It's God. It yeah. is so God. Yeah, it's so him. It's so him. And I love the way you speak about Jesus and how you say his name. Miss Kathy Taylor, I tell you, when you say the name, it's just like it runs all through all of our bodies when we're in, you know, praise and worship. Yeah. Well, I got to say, I got to tell you, I cannot take any credit for that. It's mm -hmm. just the name. If you yeah. start calling over and over and over, it's power in the name. Yeah. It's just not me calling it. But yes. It's power. It is. It's power in the name. Isn't that so? Isn't that so? Some of the things that you will be doing uh, going forward, let's talk about that. Well, um, as you know, we're, we're reconfiguring everything since, of this, since this COVID. We right. have supposed to be in a play. Yes. I think it's uh, it's uh, put off to the beginning of the year. Yes. I'm asking everybody to please look out for it. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm certain that we'll be safe enough for you guys to come out to it. Yeah. I'm um, working on a CD. Mm -hmm. um, you should be hearing much more about that as, yes. as the year goes on. Mm -hmm. And I'm just uh, blessing the Lord everywhere I can while mm -hmm. I can, you know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
I love that. Shout out to Oscar Magar and what Bl uh, Broken Vessel, the group, Soul Purpose. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. will be. You are the lead in that in that play. Well, I'm one of the. Leads. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? You're one of the leads. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a great experience for me, as you know. Well, no, I've done one other play, but it was local. So this. <laughs> This will be national. So yes. Pray for me as I embark upon this new. <laughs> you will be just fine. You're going to do great. I already know that. I already know that. Let's also talk about, we talked a little bit about the Houston Alliance Gospel Music Organization. Uh, I mean, music professionals. It's an organization. Angela Bennett on yesterday was speaking about it. She was the president. But let's give some benefits of what that organization is for local gospel artists trying to become or help. I'll tell you what, uh, the great thing about them, they have lots of information yes. um, for you. That's one. And then they also are building a great platform mm -hmm. for your work to be heard and seen. Mm -hmm. so, and so the connection, you know, in this world, it's not even what you know anymore. It's all about it's, it's all who. about who you. Yes, and um, that is a great organization to line up with. They can show you a lot of things that you save you a lot of heartache that you won't you won't have to have it because this group will really get behind you and help you uh, succeed with your um, endeavor. And the great thing I love about them, they love everybody. You know, it's not like a um, it's not like a uh, you know a crab mentality. Right. They want to see it. they want to see everybody win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that she was speaking about you have attorneys because many times we don't read the contract. That's right. <laughs> we, look, we we have we know that we have the craft, we have the showmanship, we know how to get up there and perform, but it's a business side of the music business. That's it's a the, business. Yeah. It's a major business side. And, it, and and people don't say it, it's 75 to 80 percent. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And then you see the difference in God fearing people, too. You there see you a change. Go. You see a change okay. when money <laughs> when money is oh, involved. Yeah. Okay. You'll see a little change, Absolutely. you know. Yeah, Absolutely. you see, <laughs> you see the change in some people when, when you know, when the business will we'll be singing glory. And then all of a sudden, when that, that money is trying to, it's changed. That's right. up, it's a difference. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a difference. Who gets the <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's true. That is so mm -hmm. true. But as speaking of the business side, you help so many as well as others that have already gone the journey. Yes, you know, the mistakes I made, I want to keep others from making the same right. mistakes. You know? So I try to, and still do, just as much as I can, you know, share, mm -hmm. share my knowledge. And let me just say this too, the music industry has changed so much now. Yes. Um, but it's, it's, it's more accessible mm -hmm. to you as an individual. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so, you know, especially with all of this uh, internet and mm -hmm. social media, it's much easier to, uh, you know, I mean, it's a hard road, but, uh, but. But it's easier, a little easier. Yes. Sounds yes. good. Sounds yeah, good. A lot of Absolutely. Let's take a break real quick and we'll be right back. With Cam. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com. Have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident, 
Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call. Attorney Willie Powell's. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281-881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call Attorney Willie Powell's. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection. Only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com and now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, family, we are back with evangelist Kathy Taylor. Hey, Hello. lady. Hi, how you doing? Now that we Great. look at church like it is, now it is uh, more virtual. Yes. Virtual church. And many people are saying, uh, you know, uh, there is a business side of church. And, uh-huh. <laughs> and, we, and we have to let people know that the church is still there and we, it is still valuable. Let's talk yes. a little bit about the value of still church, of church. Well, let me just say this. Um, we were in a meeting the other day at, mm-hmm. uh, at my church. Um, yes. Well, not my church, it was God's church. But it's yeah, where yeah, yeah. And where, where I work. Um, and we were talking about all of the many ministries that we still have going on, right? Even in the midst of COVID, yeah. You know, anything, anything you do, you know, um, salvation is free, yes. But to implement ministry, it just costs. It costs. You know, like like right now we're doing a food bank at the yes. Power Center every Thursday. Hmm. Um. And where we've fed over, we've given away over 400,000 um, meals and uh, bags of groceries to people. Wow. We have, um, you know, a lot of the uh, black owned businesses are failing. Yes. So what we've done, uh, what the pastor implemented was we have food trucks at the power center uh, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Mm-hmm. You know, some of the food trucks are saying they have uh generated more funds than they have in a long time even before COVID. right you right know? so you know our pastor is an entrepreneur mm-hmm. and a businessman by just that's just that's just who he is right and what he loves is seeing it working in the community yeah so that's one thing that's 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 two things that we're doing but on the flip side of that we have uh stuff uh, for youth and children yes. uh, via Zoom uh, mm-hmm. for the children, it's at eleven thirty every day. Wow! Because you have so many children at home. Yes. And then, um, uh, and so so our church is just not a Sunday morning church. Right. You know, right. we try to give you good worship and a good word from God on Sunday. Mm-hmm. But our senior citizens they have a, a online session every Friday night. Well, they've had artists come on and sing, yes. uh, play instruments, mm. to just talking about what's going on, our women's ministry, yes. uh, their meeting and having their Bible studies online. Mm-hmm. Um, we have all, we've had the COVID testing up at, uh, we've partnered with the NAACP and we having COVID testing on our parking lot wow. at the church, mm-hmm. you know, to, I mean, the list goes on and on of right. times. We have a back to school on Saturday um, where, uh, you know, normally we do a big back to school uh, drive for our uh, ch- church. Right. But, you know, there are people, there, there, are, there are parents who have three, four and five children yes. at home going to school. So yes. they don't have three, four and five computers right. at home. So we're doing, 
we're doing a back to school drive for the community. Mm -hmm. And so all of the monies and the funds that are raised will go to help children in, be ready for school. See, they're going back to school. They're just not going back to the building. Mm -hmm. But they're going back to school because they need school supplies. And, and now on top of that, they need a computer. They do. They do. And internet. And internet. Yes, many and people, internet. So many people. Many people don't have internet. That's it. So, you know, so our church is thriving mm -hmm. and alive and well. You know, yes. we're doing um, with the worship and arts ministry, you know, some of our members, you know, just we, we meet every week on via Zoom right. to stay in touch with each other. But we also do tea parties and mm -hmm. uh, we learn how to bake a, a new pound cake. And mm -hmm. we all did it via Zoom, everybody in their own kitchen, just right. trying to stay connected. Trying yes. To, uh, because, you know, being in the same place for a long time mentally, yes. sometimes it'll get you down. And then we have we all have all kind of counseling that we, we offer. Good. So the church is alive and well. We're doing a lot of the work from home. Mm -hmm. We're calling all of our members just yes. to say we love you and, mm -hmm. and, and stay connected with you. You know, so there's all kind of ministry going on. And because of that, ministry does cost. Yes. Know? It does. We still have to. We have to keep going. And, yes. You know, and 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 in and, and the financial part of it, God just said, give ten percent of what there you, you go. what you're making. Give ten percent. You know, because like you said, there are a lot of people laid off now. Yes. You know, and we have to help them people. You know, right? We can't just, you know. So, and then we have a big uh, pool of that too. We are yes. helping a lot of people make it through this. Um, this 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 hard time you know yeah definitely through this pandemic utilities yes. people's utilities you know yeah they're paying rent they're paying mortgage all of that yeah yes. all so of that we have a great church doing great ministry yes for a great God. i am so glad you're speaking on that i'm so glad you've told about those things now this saturday is the back to school this saturday yes this saturday is back to school and you can go live we're going live from um Windsor Village. Uh, yes. So you can go to kingdombuilders.com. That's our Facebook. Or you yes. can just go to the Windsor Village app and it'll take you right to it. Right, right, yeah. right. And then you were saying Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Are the trucks there? The food trucks? Yeah, the, the food trucks are at the Power Center. And that's right on the corner of South Main and South Post Oak. Yes, yes, yes. And we've got to support you them, know, family. You can't say the name of my church. The name of my church is the Wind Windsor Village Church Family. Yes. And we love to have you. We're at 6011 <laughs> West Orm Drive. Yes. Uh, we have church on Saturday nights at 6, 8, 10, and 12. You can log into the Windsor Village app or you can go to kingdombuilders.com. Yes. And you can see us there. Absolutely. I'm so glad you're saying that because I'm yes. telling you, Windsor Village has been a staple. You all have been a staple in the community. Yes. Oh, my God, Pastor Kirby John and Suzette have been just yeah. a staple in the whole community, right now, the whole area. Yeah. Like right now, we're getting ready to um, uh, prepare communion for our members who are shut, sick and shut in and yes. the elders. Mm -hmm. um, so like the elders who are able to drive and whatever, they're going to be able to come by and pick up their communion. Uh, we're going to box it up and just be there passing them. Uh -huh. And uh, so, so as we're doing it on TV, they can go along with us. And then even, you know, and our church also is responsible for Corinthian Point, a uh, home for 55 and up. Yes. Um, a facility, so we'll be serving them as well. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we just have a plethora of things going on. Right, right, right. And I'm, I'm just excited okay. to be a part of that. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm telling you, you all have done so much. For Houston, not just for that area, but for Houston, uh, Maine. We're honored to serve. Mm -hmm. Honored to serve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me show mm -hmm. a shout out to my to my beloved pastors, Kirby John and yes. Suzette Caldwell. Mm -hmm. uh, we love you so much, and just the whole pastor, your staff, and the staff there. Thank you, for, thank you for your support when I was ill, and also just uh, you, we do a you do a fantastic job, and I just want to congratulate you personally. Absolutely. Give you a shout out. Exactly, exactly. Let's do a shout out to your husband. <laughs> okay. I want to yeah, I want to throw a shout out to Thurman Audley uh, for, for just being such a great husband and father. <laughs> uh, we just um, 
I look forward to what God is going to do through us. And mm -hmm. I want you to know I'm just godly proud of your ministry with Urban Boys. He he um, runs a company called Mufasa's Pride. Yes. Uh, and uh, their their goal, their motto is uh, making manhood mean more. There you go. There you go. There I'm you go. Yes. If somebody's interested in getting involved with uh, the men, th that that organization, how do how do they contact? They can go to MufasasPride.com. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have a they have a website and mm -hmm. it's called Mufasas M U F A S A S Pride P R I D E dot org. Sounds good. And they love and they love to have it. <laughs> also, you have a large following of people on Kathy Taylor Live. I know on Facebook, I'm one of the followers. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> if you well, all I want to see, the other day, they said we have to grow it. We have you, to grow it. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm telling you. If you want to see video, if you want to see taping, if you want to see a lot of things that are happening with Kathy Taylor, you go right on there, and she has a plethora of videos and just all type of pictures and everything. How did you well, start let me tell you, that? <laughs> well, you know what. Um, not to tell my age, but I have a <laughs> bunch of young people around me who's told me, Miss Kathy, you're going to have to get with it. If you're gonna make it. In this day and time, yeah. social media is the way to go. It is. So, you know, so I've just um, embraced it yeah. because I want to be all God calls call me to be. Yes. You know, and sometimes it'll stretch you out of your comfort zone. Yes. You know, uh, to, to other areas. So, I am Kathy Taylor Live on all social media platforms. Yes. And if you think it's good now, you just wait. The best <laughs> is still yet to come. I love it. Yes. I love it. How can people purchase your any of the your your CDs, especially this one right here? Uh God is with us. The whole CD is not out. The single is out. God yes. is with us. You can get it on a Apple Music or you can go to my website, kathytaylor.com, mm -hmm. and we'll send you an actual hard copy. There you go. There you go. There yeah. you go. There you go. Yes. If people want to get in touch with you, are all the same social media? Let's talk about that. Yes. Kathy Taylor, kathytaylorlive.com. Uh, uh, you can go uh, or you can... Kathy Taylor Live is all my social media as well. Mm -hmm. And you can just send a message and we'll get right back with you. And that's true. She They will. The email address <laughs> is kathytaylorlive.com. Mm-hmm. 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 What would you like to leave with the viewers? Um, I would just like to leave with the viewers, hey, stay encouraged. God is with you. And he will not leave you, neither will he forsake you. Even if you're feeling alone right now, God is with you put you some praise music on if you don't have anything to put a, a praise song on just start humming one yourself mm -hmm. and you will feel god immediately come into the room and i believe god with you right now that you will feel his presence and his power even now in the name of jesus be blessed be safe and i want to encourage you to love god with all your mind your heart and your soul god bless Thank you so much, Miss Kathy Taylor. This has been great. I so appreciate yes. you for the opportunity just to come with us just on today, just to embark and tell people how good God is. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I count it a privilege. Uh, there's a song that we've been singing a long yeah. time, and it's just as since I've been through so much. Yeah. Uh, this just stuck with me, so I just want to send this out too i'm sorry yes. you already asked me for my last but what a privilege yes it is to have it yes everything to god in prayer oh thank you thank what you what a thank privilege you. Mm. that's a privilege mm -hmm. we have to carry mm -hmm. we can take everything to god in prayer thank you miss kathy for oh, everything yes. you're doing god bless you God keeps you, and we love you. Know that. Love you as well. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, on tomorrow, you will see this guy in action, the Michael McKay. I appreciate you. Love you. See you.